Hi, this is Laana Rock the Wild, and I'm just gonna have to make a quick update right now to say what I've been up to. I will probably go back and make a video um, of the actual activities, but I gotta put something together and, um, you know, just update people. So here it is. Thank you all. Hello, my good subscribers. It's been a while. And I need to start posting again. So today I'm working on the stairs. And here's how I'm building it. Let me see if I could go like that. It's not all up on it. Right here, I cut these two pieces. They were uh, 10 foot by 2 inch by 12 inch. And I cut them at in the right angles right there so that they connect and then I s drilled uh, holes into this tile. And that's how I screwed the first one down. And then I screwed the second one down on top of it. And here's how I connected each piece. Right here, here's how it's connected. And then this one is right here. And I'm just going to hammer this down and fold it over that. Uh, I gotta finish this side still. And then on top, it's connected with one right here. I just got back from the store and I got a piece for here. Yeah, it's a little longer, but it's okay. And um, right here, we got this piece. So that's the hardware. Super solid. Plus, I put a screw in right here, going directly into this one. And then, the way I'm going to make the steps is, uh, instead of sawing notches on this, I'm just going to keep this hole. I like it. And so, I just, uh, uh, like, figured out how long this was. And... Figured out an even number to divide it by. And then once I did that, I cut this triangle that was 11.5 inches tall. Um, and then for each uh, section, here's how I sta stand the triangle. So I could write a line right there. So I show where, how, how long the step is going to be. And then it goes up to the top right there. And I just mark a line like that. And then after I do that, I get this and make sure this line here is completely level with the bubble in the middle because I want every stick to be perfectly level with gravity. And I also want every step to be exactly the same height. And that is accomplished with my cardboard cutout and with the leveler and the bubble and then I feel like all the hardware I'm using is really making sure this is solid and also the way that I screwed this first one down onto this then screwed this one onto it is super solid and then that gave me a lot of uh, wood to connect this to, instead of trying to connect this to a uh, tile. That if I did try to connect this to tile, I would have had to put um, an angle on the base of where it connected, and it would have had metal sitting on tile, and that's how it would look. I'd have to figure out, and it doesn't look like that now. Now what you see is metal coming flush to tile and not coming out on the tile like that. There's stuff I could do as far as probably put a uh, wallpaper over this. Yeah, and then you could even put a small piece of trim down here. There's ways to make this really pretty. Put wallpaper over this, or actually probably put some kind of soft, something softer, so your feet never touches this. So yeah, the final product will look better than what you currently see but uh once i cut this board 
I laid this board on top of this board and drew a copy of it. And then so both boards are exactly the same. <laughs> mm. First time I ever made stairs. So we'll see how the final product looks. What I was aiming for is that it don't fall down and that it's level to gravity each step and that each step is same distance apart. So hopefully I have accomplished that. Hello, my good subscribers. It's been very, very long time since I've put anything out there. So I better do an update and just get a video out there one way or another so I don't just completely do a disappearing act. Um, kind of what's going on is uh, I was uh, surviving the winter uh, and I worked so hard just to keep batteries going and to not freeze. Uh, I also went to Hawaii and I went to Wasilla and I worked all winter for my job. So I was overworked and then I thought I would post, uh, but then I had too many videos to go through to make a video. And currently it's like that. Uh, it's springtime, it warmed up in here. And uh, right now I'm using the buddy heater uh, for the first time uh, in a long time instead of my wood stove. Because uh, the wood stove gets it so hot in here, it's like a sauna. And you could see that I put wallpaper up. And I put this tile behind the stove. And I also tiled the whole entire house. And I put grout between the tiles. I still have to seal it. I'm going to do one more grout job at the end after I uh, finish doing everything. I painted one of the walls, or two of the walls. Um, and then I bought a dresser and put it together and put my clothing in there. I got this mare from outside. I had to glue it back together. It was falling apart. But anyway, I hung it up for now. Um, I got my TV from my house in Delta Junction. I need to hang it up after I finish the stairway, which I'm working on today. And what else did I all do? Um, upstairs, let's go look up there. Um, I'll show you. Mm. So all winter I lived without putting sheetrock up here. Um, and also I didn't seal it on the bottom. It was just wide open. And so, uh, moisture from me living in here went up and it, uh, froze against the lumber right there behind the insulation. And it, you know, it was 40 below and everything. So it never melted. Then it finally thawed out and started to drip downstairs on the floor. So I had to go and pull the vapor barrier back and pull insulation out here and there. Uh, it was wet and now it's dry, the insulation. And uh, later on, when I'm sure it's 100% dry and I'm done building the stairs, so very soon, I'll um, make sure that all the insulation is dry and then I'm gonna um, put vapor barrier up again, make sure there's no holes in it, make sure it's sealed on the bottom at the end and I'm going to put this sheetrock up, including I had that hole wide open all winter. So that's how uh, it collected so much um, like ice and snow behind the wall that I used like a shovel. And it was probably like five quarts of water would have dumped, but I shoveled it all up and shoveled all the snow into a, a trash bag and carried it out of here. So nothing really got wet and the insulation is dry um, right now and it's warming up. So I'm having some joy. Um, but yeah, eventually I will move to working upstairs very soon when I'm done down here. Um, and make sure it's sealed and 
I also want to make sure that it's dry before I do anything. Out here, here's my chainsaw, and I cut firewood, so that was a big project all winter, cutting firewood. And, uh, yeah, the roof is clear of snow, so the roof wasn't leaking. So, yeah, that dripping I had going on was from, uh, that ice melting. My right hair is my solar panel. I'm gonna have to put that up next and connect it and start getting some electricity. I had like all my clothing and um, personal items out here. Um, I basically had to move everything out completely and stop trying to live in the house while I was building it. Yeah. And one of my plans is to just put this together real quick, uh, a video as quick as possible, just to post something and show you guys what I'm up to. And then um, I'll probably uh, pull together the videos from this winter but uh, it was really hard it was really cold so and batteries died a lot mm. I would wake up in the ice cold in here uh, sometimes I would come home to the ice cold and I just worked on this stove a lot and when I got it warm in here it was warm but it was all about um, trying to um, keep my batteries charged. And um, the propane didn't work all winter. It was too cold. So I had this buddy heater. I never really successfully used it mm, until now. And it's springtime. So now it's working. And you can see how beautiful it is out here. Beautiful. One and a half acre. And on the back side of those trees is state land, so it's gonna stay wilderness. No hotel is gonna pop up there. I've had moose walk through here. Um, birds, a lot of birds, coyote, foxes. Yeah, right now we have the full moon going on and uh, it's uh, it was just shining through the window yesterday night. And I was sliding down. You can see my slide down. So I'll put together a video showing all that. I made a slide down going all the way down the hill. So that is my update on the house. And I'm going to work on the stairs today. And the stairs project is basically, this is going to hold up each one of my stairs they're gonna be two foot by ten inch long and i'm just gonna put these on it and that's how it'll hold the steps up for me so yeah it's pretty much 100 percent different here um as far as how cold it was in the middle of the winter uh i basically worked in the winter a lot of times on snow machine so I was I had like super warm ski pants luckily and then I also uh came back to a cold house and would just sit there and build a fire for a long time and I was burning wet birchwood but I did get a bunch of uh cardboard pieces like this that I was using and burning and I got it from work because I helped put together a disc. And uh, the disc that was shipped to work came with these to secure it so it don't break. So yeah, I would just break them in half and luckily that helped burn all that wet birch. You could see my hair grew out last year. It was My head was shaved. This is how much gray I have. A lot of gray right there, but Surprisingly, not that much over here. I turned 50. Uh, but that was so hard trying to survive the winter. And I just never put together a video. It was, it, it, 
thing that I found very interesting was I had dreams about being in the woods and like uh, me and some siblings were like trying to survive and we were almost freezing to death um, and because I did grow up in the middle of the woods with 13 siblings and sometimes well what happened was we were sleeping in the cold in a cold house we would wake up in the morning and there would be ice in our water and that's how it was here and um, basically when you sleep and the cold is like hitting your body as you're sleeping it uh, actually interrupts your dreams and you start dreaming about being in the cold and it would be like traveling with a snow machine up in the mountains and we got into overflow and or we were in a boat and there was like lots of ice and our boat flipped over and some siblings was in the water or I got in the water too. And it was always about like trying to survive in the cold um, and almost getting hypothermia. Those were my almost like a nightmare dream, but it was very common in the, when I was uh, growing up in the woods. And um, when I slept in a cold house this winter, I started having those dreams again. <laughs> I always wondered why I had those dreams. So now you know. If you sleep until you start getting cold, you start dreaming about cold dreams, surviving. Well, I uh, hope you guys are having a great spring like me. And uh, I'm just going to work on the stairs and then make this video real quick right now. Um, it's just gonna be three uh, videos I just shot all in a row back to back, I'm just gonna um, connect them, publish it and get something on YouTube and then work on the stairs. Have a great day, my great people. Happy weekend. There's Lana way ahead. Right there. Look at La Ana. Way ahead. Yay, sister. Wow, oh, she got out of the deep snow picking up speed. At the North American dog races, I won the women's snowshoe race uh, for the 50 and over and uh, just for all the women. So I won both prizes. I had a great time. It was fun. Another place that's a lot of fun is Hawaii. So I highly recommend going there when it's about 40 below and uh, just get some sun. And please subscribe, my sweet ones. And hit like too. Have a good day. Whew. This is awesome. I just made my first steps ever. Yeah! I can step up it. I can do it. It's the perfect height. Woo! Making it upstairs, one step at a time. There's my first step. Woo! First time I ever made step. Next step is gonna be right here. Boom. And then, woo! Yes, yes, yes. This feels awesome to be standing on this steps. Yes, I like it. It's perfect. I can step up on it. That's what I like. You know, I'm not like blowing my knees out trying to step up. Boom. <laughs> it's perfect. I could do it. <laughs>